Hello friends, today I want to talk about one of my favorite series of all time, My Hero Academia. This video contains spoilers from manga, and if you don't want to get spoiled, I would recommend you to list this video now. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to this channel. And without anything else, I hope all of you have a great day. And let's start the video. My Hero Academia chapter 267 was really good. The chapter starts with Tsukuyomi's flashback with Hawks, where he says that his weakness is fire, because his feathers burn up pretty easily. Tsukuyomi asks if he had any countermeasures and Hawks only says that he finishes the job before anyone can use fire against him. In this chapter there were some scenes with Fedgum and Mirko, but the most interesting part of this chapter is without a doubt battle between Hawks and Dabi. In chapter 266, Dabi proves that he is much more than just Tomo Shigaraki's henchman. Hawks proves to be too fast for Dabi and is able to outmaneuver of the villain. And that's when Dabi uses his real name, Keigo Takami, just saying that is enough to catch Hawks off guard for a few minutes. And it's very clear from the context, no one is supposed to know his secret identity. This is not the first time Hawks' name has been revealed in general. In 2019, the My Hero Academia official character book 2, Ultra Analyst Data Book noted Hawk's name as Keigo Takami. Still, this is the first time his name has actually been used in the manga, and it's unclear just how Dabi knows Hawk's real name. Right now, it seems more likely Dabi has access to information he should not have, which would be entirely possible considering the paranormal liberation front's long reaching connections. If that's the case, My Hero Academia's paragons of justice are in trouble. Because if Dabi knows who Hawks is, that means Paranormal Liberation Front knows a tons of private information about its enemies. Anyway, back to this chapter. As Hawks thought back to when government officials placed him in a special program to make him a special hero, how they told him to discard his name, and how he accepted the grueling training if it meant he could be like Endeavor, whose toy he held in his hands. He asks Dabi who he is, and Dabi answers, leaving Hawks shocked. This makes me think that Dabi and Hawks may knew each other back then. This may in fact tie in with fan theories that Dabi is Toyo Todoroki. Although Toyo's age has not been disclosed, his younger sister, Fuyumi, is 23, the same age as Hawks. Thus, it's entirely possible Fuyumi and Hawks or Toei and Hawks may have gone to school together or have some other connection, though there is no solid evidence of that at this time, so it's just speculation. I plan making a separate video about Dabi's past and his connection with Endeavor, so stay tuned for that. Right now, Endeavor and Dabi are in different locations. Dabi is in mansion while Endeavor is in hospital. However, I think their battle is inevitable. They have to fight and I don't see any better time than this. We know that Dabi is the leader of Red Unit Violet, which means Dabi, along with Geten, is in charge of destroying or capturing any place, person or pro hero, that poses a threat to the Paranormal Liberation Front's plans, and I'm pretty sure they would definitely wanna eliminate the number one hero, Endeavor. And if you had all this power and directive to right places, why wouldn't Dabi use this opportunity and fight Endeavor? In their last interaction, which happened in chapter 190, Endeavor recognizes Dabi as the villain who murdered Snatch, and Dabi claims he has no idea who he is talking about. Dabi tells Endeavor he wants to talk while they have their opportunity. Hawk stands up to Dabi, and the latter claims he wouldn't try and defeat the top two heroes alone. Then Dabi says that they are almost dead and decides to attack. Mirko interrupts and attacks Dabi from above. Her fearsome stomp keeps him at bay, making Dabi realize his disadvantage. Dabi then calls Ujiko to use the warping quirk to warp him away. Before he leaves, Dabi calls Endeavor by his real name and tells him not to die. So due to this interaction, we can pretty much say that Dabi has his own business with Endeavor and wished to fight and talk to him, but thanks to Mirko, his plan failed, and I'm sure he will use this chance to fight Endeavor once and for all. But when will this battle happen? I don't think it will happen in chapter 258, but very soon, maybe somewhere around from 262 to 266, but this is just a blunt case of mine. It could happen much sooner or later, but I think one thing is clear, Dabi has to fight Endeavor in this arc. We don't know full power of any of them, 
But if Endeavor may have some trouble, I think the one who'll help him will be his son to the Rocky Chateau. And they will fight side by side, which will be really emotionally strong moment and personally one of favorite moments of mine. Anyway, this is all for today. What do you think? Will Endeavor and Tabby fight? And how will their fight go? Write your opinions in the comments, like this video and subscribe to this channel for more. Thanks for watching.